Lynn wants to buy a pair of shoes that originally cost $75. Today they are 40% off. A, what is the sale price? We will answer this question using the tape diagram shown here below, where this taper bar represents 100% of the original cost of $75. And because they're 40% off, and 40 is a multiple of 10, we will now cut the taper bar into 10 equally sized parts or pieces so that we can count from 0% to 100% from left to right, increasing by 10% each time. So here's the taper bar cut into 10 equally sized parts or pieces, which allows us to count from 0% to 100%, increasing by 10% each time. And now we'll write the corresponding dollar amount below the tape or below the bar, where 100% corresponds to 100% of the original cost of $75, which means the next step is to find 10% of $75. And just like we cut the bar into 10 equally sized parts or pieces, one way to find 10% of $75 is to divide $75 by 10. One way to divide 75 by 10 is to use the shortcut of moving the decimal one place to the left in 75. So right now in 75, the decimal is to the right of the five, move it left once, which gives us a quotient of 7.5. 7.5 or $7.50 is 10% of $75, which means we can label $7.50 here. Another way to divide is to perform long division. Let's also show that. We first determine how many tens in 75, which is seven. Seven times 10 is 70. Subtract, the difference is five at a decimal to the dividend, add a zero, move the decimal up to the quotient, bring the zero down, determine how many tens in 50, which is five, five times 10 is 50, subtract, the difference is zero, again giving us a quotient of 7.5 or $7.50. And now each time the percent increases by 10%, we add $7.50, $7.50, plus $7.50 is $15, which is 20% of 75. Continuing, we get the following completed tape diagram. And now to answer the question, if the shoes are 40% off today, that means Lynn pays 60% of the original cost. Looking at the tape diagram, notice 60% of $75 is $45. So the sale price is $45. Going back to the tape diagram just for a moment, notice how 40% of $75 is $30, which is the amount Lynn saves by buying the shoes at 40% off. Part B, Lynn also has a coupon for an additional 10% off of the sale price. What is the final price of the shoes? Answering this question with a tape diagram, we will need to redo the dollar amounts below the tape diagram, but because the coupon is for an additional 10% off, we can use the same percentages above the tape diagram. We would replace the $75 with $45, and then find 10% of $45, which is $4.50. To complete the tape diagram, we add $4.50 each time the percent increases by 10%. And we can now see from the tape diagram, Lynn will save an additional $4.50 with the additional 10% off of the sale price. But the question asks, what is the final price of the shoes? If she receives 10% off of the sale price, she pays 90% of the sale price. And we can see 90% of the sale price or 90% of $45 is $40.50. The final price is $40.50. Of course, another way to find the final sale price would be to find 10% of $45, which we know is $4.50, and then take the sale price of $45 and subtract $4.50. Bring the decimal down, zero minus zero is zero. Here we need to perform an exchange. 
the five changes to a four. We now have a 10 in the tenths. 10 minus five is five. 44 minus four is 40. Of course, giving us the same final price of $40.50. I hope you found this helpful.